hello everyone welcome to the channel today in this video we are going to learn how to calculate the age value in salesforce and we are going to learn this concept for both salesforce lightning as well as a classic experience so let's first discuss how to create a formula field in salesforce lightning that calculates the age firstly you have to log in into your salesforce account in the lightning experience after that when you redirect to the main home page, you have to click on the gear icon located on the top and click on the setup option. Once you click on the setup option, it redirects you to the main home setup. Once you reached here, you have to click on the object manager that is located on the top of the navigation bar. Once you click on this object manager, it shows you all the objects available in Salesforce either it is a custom or a standard one. You have to search for the object in which you want to create this formula field in the quick find box. This time I am going to search for the contact object. So I search for a contact. Then I click on the contact label and it redirects me to the contact object manager page. Then I click on the field and relationship option located on the left side. Next, I have to create up a new field for creating a formula to calculate a age. So I click on the new button located on the top right side and then it shows me the fields type that are available in Salesforce. I search for the formula field type as I am going to create up the formula that calculates the age. So I click on the radio button next to the formula and after that I click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now here I have to enter up the field label. So here I enter the field label as a age and when I click on the field name it automatically populated. Now it's asked me to choose the return type. As we are going to get up the age so it always result in a number. I click the radio button next to the number. It shows me options in a decimal places where you have to choose up the decimal point. As the age doesn't have any decimal point, I select the zero as a value and click on the next button to proceed. Once I reached on the next button, it's take me to the formula sub tab. It asked me to choose up the functions from this function section, some operators from this operator dropdown and the fields that I needed from this insert field option. And by using all such thing, I have to create up the formula that calculates the age. I have an article on that. So I am going to copy paste the formula from the article. You will get the link of this article in the description box. You, you can check it. I copy pasted my formula. Now I explain you what I have done in this formula. Here I have used the if and a case function with the two day, month, day and year function to calculate the number of years between birth date and the current date of the person. Here I check the case where month I get from the two day date and the month I subtract it from the birth date. Then I use the if statement that checks that the date of the month is greater than or equal to the birth date. Then year is my from the two day days to birth date then year is subtracted from the uh, birth date and then minus from the one if the case is not so similarly like that I have again used one if statement that check for the month also and then to check that whether this formula is correct or not I click on the check syntax button located under this formula section there is no syntax error so I scroll down and if you want to add description or help text you can add it. If you are dealing with the number currency or percentage field you can handle the field labeling. You can treat the blank fields as a zero or as a blank. Now I remain these things as it is and click on the next button and proceed to the next step. Now in this next step, I have to choose up the profiles to whom I want to grant the edit access of this field. Some of them is already selected, but I want to select all of them. So I simply click on the visible checkbox that is located on the top. 
and click on the next button. Once I click on the next button, it redirects to the next page where I have to choose up the page layout for this formula field. By default, all the page layouts are selected. If you doesn't want to show this field on any of the page layout, you can uncheck them. But I remain the setting as it is and click on the save button. Once I click on the save button, it successfully save up the formula field. Now to check that whether it is working correctly or not, I click on this app launcher 9 dots and search for the context object in a search bar and click on it. Once I open it, it shows me the list of all the contacts. Now to check that whether it is working or not, either you can create a new field or you can either you can create a new record or check it with the already created record. So here I randomly open up one record to check that whether it is working correctly or not and move to its detail section. And here I have seen that there is no birth date is fill up. So I click on that, fill up a random date and click on the save button. When I save, you can see that it shows that age is zero because of the two day date is greater than the per date. So as we are calculating it in a year, it doesn't shows up the value. Now let's change its year to 2021 and save it. Now you can see that it calculates the age as a two because this year is a 2023. With this, we have successfully learned how to create up the formula field in Salesforce Lightning that calculates the age. Now we will proceed and learn to calculate the age in a Salesforce cl classic by creating up the formula field. For this, I click on the profile and shift to the Salesforce classic first by clicking on the option of a switch to a Salesforce classic. When I click on it, it redirects me to the Salesforce Classic experience. Now I have to click on the setup option that is located on the top. When I click on that, it moves to the Salesforce Classic setup. Now I scroll down and move to the build section. Now in this build section, I have to choose up. I click on the customize dropdown. Now from this customize dropdown, I need to choose the object for whom I want to create up the formula. This time, I show you the example for the context. So I search for the context object. Once I find it, I click on the drop down and click on the fields option. Now here I scroll down to the custom fields and relationship section of the contact and click on the new button. When I click on the new button, it asks me to choose the field type for creating up the formula. So as we are going to create the formula, I choose up the formula field type by clicking on the radio button and click on the next button. Now it's asked me to enter the field label. So I enter the field label as a present age. And when I click on the field name, it automatically filled up. Now it asked me to choose the formula return type. So I click on the number and then I set decimal places to zero. And click on the next button to proceed to the next step. Now in this step, it asked me to enter up the formula in the formula sub tab by using the functions that you need from the function section and by using the operators that you get from this operator dropdown and some fields that you needed from this insert field option. Here, I have already written up the article. So from here, I copy pasted the formula. If you want to see the article, you will get the link of this article in the description box. Here, I pasted the formula and click on the check syntax button to check that whether it is correct or not. It shows me that there is no syntax error. Now let's first understand this formula. In this formula, 
I use the year, month, and day component of the current date and the day of the birth. And to extract them, I use the year, month, day function of the Salesforce. Then I calculated the number of years by deducting the birth year from the current year. And next, I use the if function to check that whether this birth month and day have not passed yet in the current year or were passed. And I adjust the result by deducting 1 according to the result. So if you want to add the description in help text, you can add it. You can even handle the blank fields. In the article, we have also mentioned some of the other formulas to calculate the age. You can check it from the article. Then I click on the next button and proceed to the next step. Now in this next step, I have to choose up the field levels to whom you, I want to grant up the edit assess of this field. I click on the visible checkbox that is located on the top as I want to grant edit assess to all the fields and click on the next button and proceed to the next step. In this step, I have to choose up the page layout in which I want to include this field. I want to include this field to all the page layout and by default all of them is selected. So I simply click on the save button. Once I click on the save button, it successfully created up the formula that calculates the age in Salesforce Classic. Now to check that whether it is working correctly or not, I click on the context object located on the top navigation bar. It open up the record. I randomly open one of the record and it's taken, it's take me to the detail page. Now here I click on the edit option because the birth date is not filled up. I click on that and with the help of the calendar, I have filled up the date of birth and change its year to 1998 and click on the save button. When I click on the save button, it shows the result of the present age as a 25. So with this, we have learned how to create up the formula that calculates the age in Salesforce Classic. If you like this video, click on the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. Thanking you for watching and have a great day.